ultimate test this. Ultimate test. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to another GTA 5 Will It Survive video. Today I will be doing another endurance run using the uh, the D-Class Premier Sedan and driving it around the streets of Los Santos wrecking and seeing how many wrecks I can get into before it decides to go kaput. It's been a while since I did these videos so I'll do a rundown on the rules or the criteria for the video. I'm pretty much going to take this in car drive it as fast as I can ready I hit it do as much damage to it as I can and uh, after a certain time limit let's say 15 minutes or so if the car is still able to drive we'll call it, uh, we'll call it a pass if it breaks down stalls or catches fire now break down slash stalls or catches fire and then we will call it a fail so anyways let's go ahead and get started while we're doing this I do want to apologize for the lack of video content lately I have I haven't had uh, actual internet in a while so I haven't really been able to upload much in the way of videos but I'm going to upload the best I can I'm going to do what I can as far as uploads and videos go and hopefully soon I will have my content going up in the uh, in the schedule that I previously was trying to do before those of you that have stuck it out with me thus far I wanna thank you and I also wanna say that we are halfway I know it's not as great as having a lot of subscribers as right now I only have eight subscribers which you know I'm not complaining but we are halfway to a thousand views and I think that's pretty awesome considering that I only got eight <laughs> subscribers <laughs> and he got up amazing <laughs> but even with eight subscribers I'm quite amazed we've managed to get up to 500 views on my channel so far I appreciate everybody sticking it Sticking it, uh, sticking it out with me, even with me not posting near as often as I should. Uh, and I really do appreciate your, you know, the fact that you are enjoying my content. I know a lot of people do special things for subscribers when they hit a certain milestone in subscribers unfortunately I don't know what to do for the fact that we've hit half a thousand we're halfway to a thousand views if you would like if you would like me to do something you have I want I want to toss around some ideas you got Feel free to leave me a comment with them when you check out this video. And it's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> what I call that a, uh, a maybe? Because I did throw myself out of a vehicle, and that's the first time in a long time since I've had my car to get shot out of a car like that. So, since he did die. 
I guess it will be a uh, fail for the D class. All right. Well, I. Ow. Look, now you gotta give me your vehicle. So we're just gonna take this car here. And this is a Kieran Intruder. So let's just keep on going with the test. Kieran Intruder Endurance Test. Let's take this bad boy out to the bridge here. So we can run the Kieran Intruder test. And I flew out again. Oh. Wee! <laughs> well, I'm still alive. Test is still on as soon as I get back in the car. Well, there's two vehicles that I've gotten flung through the windshield of. One failed because I ended up dying. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Turn. everybody for sticking out with me getting me to help me get up to 500 over 500 views I really appreciate it and if we can push that up to a thousand that'd be great also if we can by some odd chance manage to get the subscriber count to equal the uh, view count. Shit. I might even help do something special. But if you would like me to do something, regardless of whether or not I we get up to 500 subscribers or not, then please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Or you can message me on Facebook at GarmXIV. I'll leave a link to my Facebook page in the description. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> How I missed him, I don't know, but I missed him. Stunt failed. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hard to control. <laughs> oh, this one's lasted a lot longer than the other one did. <laughs> ah, just in case I wasn't having enough fun already. Look out! cars starting to get a bit leggy now I can't see 
Hold on, I need to clear the hood. Uh, somebody help me clear the hood. Thank you. I'll try to turn, I swear. Oops. Well, I blame the trucker. Well, I gotta say, this Karen, this particular Karen vehicle is handling this like a champ. It didn't survive the second time. <laughs> and I took another person out. Woohoo! Karen, let's go. Hey, you selfish prick. It's driving so far. It's getting kind of slow and it doesn't have near the get up and go or the turning ability as it used to. Let's go down Del Piro Bay Beach, sorry. What is this bullshit? Beep, beep, beep. The car goes beep, beep, beep. jam Okay, we can back this up. We can back this up. We got this. Oh, we can't go nowhere. And did a drink. Ow. Now fitting in to the Karen. It was good until we accidentally get until we got her stuck with no way out. So I am going to swim back to shore real quick and I will catch everybody in a little bit. And I'm back. And this time we're going to test out the Vapid Sand King XL. Alright. We're out here on this beauty beach. With a Vapid Sand King XL. So let's go ahead and start the test. You got lucky, buddy. Over the vehicle. Vapid Sand King. 
pushes most small cars around. And climbs over him. Except for that one, apparently. I gotta take it from an angle. Yep. Whoop! Planner. Yeah, we'll go down this way. One of our wheels is already messed up. Let's see how far we can go. Not even barriers can stop the Vapid King. Just ways to lines of vehicles. All the wild do tricks. <laughs> I can't turn no more. <laughs> In either direction. Just blown. There goes the other one. More cars and pileups. The Vapid Sand King. Good until you have no tires. Alright, we're gonna let them. We're gonna just let the beast die here. It was a good vehicle. 
It was a fun thing to, ha uh, to drive around in because it was almost like having a monster truck without the monster truck. All the way until both front wheels got screwed up and I had no ability to steer. Oh, I don't want your car. Don't you drive away on me. No, no, no. You owe me a car. No. Hi. Give me your car. Yeah, and we have the weenie issy. So, time to test this little car out. Yeah, it's a weenie. Anyways, the weenie you see, sure is a weenie. Oops. Tell me, Michael, how much does this car cost? I want the hood. Well, one of these cars managed to make it to the point where the worst thing that will happen to him is that the engine will conk out. Thanks for turning. Easy. Can't even hit a stationary vehicle without almost slipping itself. Oh, like that. Yeah, let's go in the opposite direction. I have no, I have no idea how many minutes it's been on each of these. I have really even been keeping count. <laughs> oh. I will say though, I think the one that's lasted the longest thus far has been the last this Karen nice that we drove the one that ended up in the ocean which would be two cars back now three cars back third car we did second car back because right after that we did the sand king There's some smoke coming out of it. Damn. Well, I killed the passenger of that last car.
they don't. If they did, they move out of the way. Of course, your headlights are shot. Test! Sounds like a test! Why are you shooting me? So you're gonna drive into me! Yep. Tell us it's gonna work. I think the is he's about to conk. Almost. It can still sputter to life. He's a strong little bug. But does she have it in her? She's pulling to the left. Forgive me. She's on her last legs. You know how much this car costs? She's fighting tooth and nail for every inch of ground. Can she go the distance? I doubted you because of your name, but you have proven to, to have the ability to go the distance. I don't believe you managed to survive the first time we took you down Mount Chiliad. But here and now you are proving you can go the distance when it comes to Head on crashes with anything, including walls. Let's drive this way a little bit. Oh, you do pull to the left a bit. Oh, she's spitting better. But she can do it. I know she can. This was a nice car. Uh, All right, I tried to turn. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you know, you, if you really want to move. Oh, I'll get you back. Oh no, she's on fire! She's on fire, we gotta go! We gotta go! I stand over here and watch. Oh, should he explode? Will this be the last time we see the... Yeah. Weenie is he in a state of unexploded debris? Ah, come on. Huh? 
No, I have a feeling she ain't gonna start again. I can't even get in her. <laughs> it burst up. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a Sapphire going again. Will she explode? And that's the end of her. Now let's get out of here before the cops show up. Give me your taco van. We're going to test the taco van. I'm sorry about Test the taco van during a police chase. How does it work? Panto! I remember when we tested the panto, the panto on our first episode. That was our first episode. Maybe it was the second time we did this. I remember testing it. And it did pretty good. Panto is a good vehicle to use if you need, to, need a vehicle that can handle the stresses of being repeatedly smashed into vehicles. Yeah, that's a police escort. This will be the true test of the taco truck. Can it survive? while being chased by the police. Also, I ran into a panto. I think it was our, either our first episode or our second episode that I tested the panto. And it did fairly well. It was one of the vehicles that I would say would be a good fit for anybody driving in post-apocalyptic Los Santos or normal everyday Los Santos because it can take quite a beating and still keep going I think it can take about as much I think it the Panto and the Issy are two small vehicles that actually did pretty well oh we lost the cabs if you need to now run the cabs even if you're doing oncoming traffic smashing into everything drive a taco truck I don't know how I was able to outrun the cast with the tackle truck, but I was. Oh, here we go. Police chase is back on. Try, buddy. I don't want to stop this taco truck. Though it does go pretty slow uphill. Let's get some speed going before we start crashing into things again. Hey, you hit me. Move, taxi. Take for your life, cappers. Yeah, let's go this way. We need the ducks in Los Santos now. A whole lot of things we can just crash into unless we go on to the Parking areas, of course. That <laughs> <laughs> was awesome. 
awesome. I didn't even have to hit him. He did it for me. Aw, oh, man, what are you guys going to say that for? Hey, 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 hey. No guns, man. No guns. I'm not shooting you. It's a little bit rude. Really gotta get back on the highway. That's where the real testing can be done. Oops. I just ran over something. Not quite sure what. They're waiting for me. They're trying to set up a roadblock. Which they failed to do. Well, I have a feeling we're probably gonna get away here. No, nope. there's a cap right in front of us. Uh, did he get stuck? Did I accidentally kill the driver? So I am in the Tucker van. You got that right, lady. Ah, I missed. Now we got some speed. Yeah, we could do some damage. I don't want to pull over and you can't make me. No. Can't make me. Test this. Ultimate test. <laughs> uh oh. Dog truck's on fire. Dog truck's on fire. No. <laughs> we will be testing, and this will probably end up being the last one for this episode. We will be testing the Vapid minivan. So, let's go ahead and start the test. I don't have high hopes for the minivan, but it does have decent speed. Look out! It is by Va it is another vehicle built by Vapid. Oh, um, with the Sand King. Unlike the Sand King, though, can't just drive over vehicles. I'm 
I I wasn't gonna make that one anyways. <laughs> Definitely not making it now. I expected it to be a little bit more ruined. I think I lost the bumper, the hood, and the passenger front door. Ruined the headlights and one of the taillights, the back window, and probably the windshield. I still got some smoke to it yet. Well, there you go, folks. If you're ever playing GTA 5 and you see a, one of those security trucks driving around, you know, some attack the center of the rear doors to open them. Or put sticky bonds on them. Yeah, I say, for as beat up as it's been so far, it's not that. It's, it doesn't look all that bad. It hasn't lost much of its speed. Get out. Sorry. What? Just trying to find my way out. some rear uh, it doesn't steer very well we're going reverse I just wanted to go straight <laughs> okay so we're going reverse isn't the best idea this uh, do a bootleg turn pretty well though which is layman's uh, lay turns, it means it does a 180. Look out! Well, I think we just drew on that poor, poor, poor banshee. I lost all both passenger doors now. Oh, no. We still had the two driver's sides yet. Shit. All right, we'll come back to this area because there's Shit. that jump there. Go back and redo all that. This car cannot die until it hits that jump. Oh, it is on its last leg, so it probably won't last much longer. We definitely got to hit it this time. Oh, if 
fail it. But hey. I did some damage. Did a little bit of top and front damage. I think one of our back wheels is messed up. Either a back wheel or a front wheel. I can't really tell right now. And because of that, it has definitely decreased in speed. Is going strong. <coughs> kind of like the Sand King. Cars about shot. But I believe in it. I can go. One of our wheels is just okay, it was the front one. Must hit the bus, must hit the bus, must no, he must hit the bus. Hey, guys, put out the fire, please. No, not, not back away. You're supposed to put the fire out. What are you guys doing? Put the fire out. Save my van. Really? But anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please subscribe to my channel if, if you haven't done so already. And leave me a like and a comment as well. Or you can chat with me on my Facebook page at YarmXIV, which I will leave a link to as I deal with every one of my videos down in the description below. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. And goodbye.